So I'm the cultural attaché to the turtleneck club. I like to think that I actually emerged out of my mother wearing a turtleneck. We're a group of highly refined individuals. We're culturally aware, we're fashionably aware. We're here to drink wine, talk turtleneck, and I guess you could say have fun. I guess you could say have fun again. We like to discuss classical music and art, and we actually do a Zumba class on Tuesdays. So it was always my father's dream to have me as the president, of course. When my father actually started the club in the 70s. Beneath the surface of every turtleneck wearer, there are four qualities. Charisma, intelligence, complexity, and love. Although my father never loved me. But that's besides the point. Our president has passed away. Why must all good things come to an end? This might not be the right time, but now that our sadly deceased but incredibly competent president is gone, maybe we could vote on a new one. This is definitely not the right time. Actually, I think it is. He probably would have wanted it like this. What do you think, Andy? You knew him better than anyone. Andy? I, I think so, yeah. Right. Well, if that's settled then, let's bid adieu. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Now you reckon you ain't just gonna throw this body into the lake and leave that fine turtleneck on there, are you? I don't know. Fuck you, I won't let you. Uh, no. No! You can't separate the man from a turtleneck. We have to save this letter, you motherfucker! And that's why we kept the body. Well, obviously, I was the best pick for president, and the most qualified. Uh, not only have I been here for years, but probably I am the most popular. Everybody loves me. Sorensen? That guy sucks. My grandfather invented fedoras, and that guy's still more pretentious than I am. Soren? No, I never liked the guy, but uh, that son of a bitch was so enthusiastic and organized and, well, his parents had a real nice Swiss chalet up in the Alps that we go to every year for the club getaway. I don't know what's going on here. My family works on Rikemannen's Alp Villa and he took me here because I like my language. Snälla, contact my family. Min, min hals kliar och det känns som jag bestrypt av en väldigt, väldigt svag man och jag, jag är trött på vin. But when it actually became time to pick the next president, there was a bit of a stick in the mud. Attention everyone, Andy has something to say. Come on. <coughs> Andy, speak up, come on. Would anybody like to be the new president. Um, according to the rules, uh, if two or more people want to be, then we need to hold a vote. Um, so I guess maybe just step forward if you want to be. Well, I guess that's decided. <laughs> mm. I would like to announce my candidacy for president. I never did like that woman, a diversity member group thought that we needed one after the local paper called us, quote, whiter than a Klan rally, end quote. Uppity, loud, keener. That's her. I love Theo. She showed me the tinder. I joined this club because there were rich guys here, but Theo told me that I didn't need a man and that I could make it on my own. So yeah, she's way cooler than Soren. Wait, is Soren rich? Ja, inte osig. Bara snälla, ge mig hon är pengar till en flygplats. Jag tänker inte laken. Jag saknar mina jätter. Are you kidding me, Andy? Okay, we're gonna have to hold a vote then. Um, you each have a week to campaign. Well, obviously, I knew that I had to do anything I could do to win. She wanted to modernize the club. She wanted to make it 
Motorverse, she, she wanted to make it more accessible to people in wheelchairs. I wanted to keep it the same, the way Daddy had it. So, you know, I couldn't have that, I couldn't have her winning. I'll admit, I cheated a little. Well, if you must know, it is customary to hold a debate after the campaigning is done. And I knew I had to win. The future of the club depended on it. Now, most of you probably don't know this, but I actually had dinner with the president before he passed. He talked about his passions, his ambitions, his goals for the club, and I mean, obviously he can't do them now because he's dead, but I guess I could. What better way to honor our buddy over here, our good old pal, than to make me his friend and confidant, the president. But I certainly do miss him. <laughs> I think, I think we all miss him. Andy, can you get me my bag, please? Hurry up. Just so, sorry, guys, just a second. Thank you. And uh, that's why you should elect me as president, I think. You know, I'm a, I'm a human too. I have feelings. God damn it, I have emotions. And that's why I should be your president. I know Soren would have you believe he's what's right for this club but he is a pompous, arrogant idiot. If you guys want to be stuck in the past, vote for Soren. If you guys want to use club funds to buy tickets to a symphony instead of a music festival, vote for Soren. If you want another white male keeping things just the way they are without any change for the rest of us, vote Soren. If you guys want to be part of something more than, vote Theodora, vote for change. Okay, so the vote will take place tomorrow then. Uh, also tomorrow, a pottery class. Don't be late. Good. Um, I need to speak to you, okay? Brandy. Um, nice to see you again. Meet me at the Turtle's Neck at midnight tonight. Andy, go get my bag. What's going on? Theo! Theo! I think you're in grave danger. What the hell are you talking this about? Soren lied, okay? He never met with the president to talk about plans for the club or whatever. He... He went to ask when the president was going to retire. And I think he was angry when the president said he wasn't going to. And then I was looking through his bag. You figured out my entire plan. Good for you, Andy. And to think. I thought you were just the moronic fool with the blended wool turtleneck. <gasps> Yours is blended too, because of your allergies! Hey! Ah! Now shut your goddamn dirty mouth, and I'll explain everything. You see, it was my destiny to become president. My goddamn right. Oh, what that other president did to this club. I've seen it go from prestige to mediocrity. Mm, no. To ruin what my father created. <laughs> and then a woman president? Really? No, it's preposterous. No, 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 no. So I poisoned him. I had to. And I was going to poison you too, Theo. But now I guess I don't have to. And you'll keep your mouth shut too, Andy. Unless, of course, you want to meet the same fate. Plus, you've got me. You can be my right-hand man. You're quite good at it. <laughs> the white man wins again. Now let's go, Andy. I have a wine decanting. I don't want to overly decantate. Uh, get my bags!
Well, it was quite easy to pull off. I, being the master tactician that I am, told the group that Theo left for woman's reasons. And they bought it. Of course. Now, I can restore the group back to its former glory. But first, a cheers to me, Soren the Great. Andy, go get me more wine, boy. <clears throat>